So here is my herbs that I have in my pots. I have some thyme here. I did prune this one up because part of it died for some reason. The rest look perfectly fine though. Um, here's my lettuce leaf basil getting bigger. And then over here I have more lettuce leaf basil. Just looks really good. I love how huge the leaves are and they're still getting bigger. So in this garden bed I have a Cuban oregano. I have a little volunteer watermelon. I'm not sure the variety. This is a zinnia which it just looks so sad. I don't know why, but a couple of my zinnias are wilted like this. Um, there's, it's wet down there, so I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm overwatering. It does have a flower bud on it though. In this bed, I have purple sweet potatoes and orange Beauregard sweet potatoes from all throughout. There's a few sunflowers. There's a taller one. And then I have a couple of lettuce leaf basil here. And along this side of the cattle panel, I planted some sugar baby watermelons. They're only 70 days till maturity, so I'm sure I'll have plenty of time as long as it doesn't get too hot. And one of them did sprout. Yay! <laughs> and then directly across this cattle panel. Um, I did the same thing over here. I planted sugar babies. Um, and these are small melons, so they're pretty easy to trellis. None sprouted over here yet. And then I planted uh, Roma bush beans and also a red swan bush bean. And nothing has sprouted yet. It's a bean. <laughs> this is a rosemary. Smells so good. And then I have some different varieties of tomatoes. This is like the, it's like 3.30 right now and I live in Florida, so everything's gonna look a little sad and wilted because it's the heat of the day, but in the evening when it cools off, all the leaves will perk back up. So that's just normal for where I live. Um, my sweet banana peppers, I harvested quite a bit off of these yesterday, and uh, my kids had those for lunch for, with their lunch today with some cilantro avocado ranch dip. And here's my other tomatoes. I planted these over here because they're close to the house. I figured to get a little bit of protection from the sun. And then along this cattle field, um, if you watched my with me garden video. I planted hyacinth um, moon shadow beans, I think they're called. None of them have sprouted yet. And then on the other side of the cattle panel, I have lots of peppers, all different varieties, mostly sweet peppers, and they all transplanted great. Um, and then I have some are black eyed Susan vines, beautiful flowers. There's one here and then one over there. And they're doing great. Um, over here, I recently, today, I have these um, tomatoes rooting in jars of water. And these are the ones that still haven't rooted yet. But all of these other ones here had roots. So today I went ahead and trimmed them up and potted them. And so they look kind of droopy, but that's okay. They'll be just fine. Um, and then I have some Mirasaki purple peppers sprouted. There's two of them there. They're still pretty. I love the color on there. I up-potted some okra for my aunt. After I up-potted them, I got a, an extra one come up, which is cool. Here's the Murasaki purple peppers when they're bigger. I love the purple foliage. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you this garden bed. Well, actually, I'll show you this pot first. So I actually started Snapdragon seeds um, in early spring and I thought, oh, they're not gonna live. I planted them too late, but I actually found out that they're perennial here where I live. So surprise, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to um, seeing these bloom. This one just looks puny and I'm not sure why. It's the same treatment. It's in the same pot as these. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it will live and I can turn it up as it gets bigger and um, hopefully I can save it. And then I have a pigeon pea here that my friend Katie started for me. So over here I have my cardinal basil about time for me to be pruning it. I've been picking the tips off a little bit. As you can see, it's bushed out quite a bit. They're probably about six inches tall now. This is actually a little minia. So is that, but it looks very sad. I don't know why those two zinnias, zinnias just look so sad. Um, this had a flower on it and I pruned it off as you can see trying to see if it will um, save itself give it some more energy to save itself I don't know we'll see how it does there's another zinnia um, this one I transplanted out of a pot and it's doing very well so here's some more Started putting on blossoms. Let me put my basket down. These have started putting on blossoms, you can see there. And some of them have tomatoes. Um, this blueberry one does. Very, very tiny. Look how little that is. <laughs> Smallest tomato you've ever seen. <laughs> right? And then, um, Here's some of my lotus leaf basil, and this is the sweetheart cherry tomato. So you can see it started putting on fruits. So this is a sunburst squash. I'm not sure what that insect is right there. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like a little wasp, so I'm not going to touch it. but. A sunburst squash. It's like a little yellow patty pan. They look like little UFOs. They're so cute. Here's another one. I had a third, but it um, died. So I fed it to my chickens and I planted a banana pepper there. <laughs> so here I have Zinnia, my ghost pepper plant. I did just harvest. Six or seven of these yesterday that were ready. These ones look like they're ready, but when you look at the tips, they're still green, so they need a little bit longer. So down here I have some more tomatoes. I like to plant zinnias throughout my garden to attract the pollinators. Okay, and then I have two cattle panels, trellises here and here. This one has um, purple potted yard long beans growing on it. And in the last garden tour, I said, oh look, they're vining, but I realized this is not the same leaf and the, this is actually a volunteer rattlesnake pole green bean it's not um a purple potted yard long beans and they do put off runners faster than the yard long beans but i'm just gonna leave it there and see if i get any green beans it might be too hot for it but i'll just leave that one vine and we'll find out and if it does i'll plant them next spring this trellis, 
I have um, Christmas Cold Lima Beans and it's finally reached the halfway point up there. So these are 16 foot long, so it's about anywhere from they're six to eight feet long now. And they're, they've been blossoming, so I'm excited about that. And then between these two cattle panels, I have a couple zinnias. Um, and I pruned the flowers off, so they don't have flowers on them right now, but they will soon. As you can see, lots of blossoms or buds. Okay, and then over here, I have another garden bud. So I'm going to start over here. So here are my two passion vines. I did separate them, and since I separated them, this one's just been kind of droopy. I'm wondering if I'm overwatering it, so I'm going to start backing off on the water of this one, um, even though it receives the same amount as this one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's okay. I did it, so let's see, maybe three or four days ago, and it's not dying, so that's a good thing. In this pot, I started some, I don't remember what variety, but they're Zinnia. I love the purple. So pretty. And this is another zinnia I planted. I'm not entirely sure the variety yet because it's not open all the way. It could be an elimination zinnia. Um, that's what I'm thinking it is. Or it might be a cactus zinnia, but I can't tell you. Okay, so on this cattle panel I have loofah gourds. I just have two and they are binding and looking really great. I have some silver slicer cucumbers. Here's the biggest one. And then here's another zinnia. This one's the illumination zinnia. In the middle along here I have all zinnias and okra pretty much. Um, here's another zinnia. I'm not sure what the variety is on that one yet because I haven't opened it or it hasn't opened yet. <laughs> and then I have Armenian yard long cucumbers. Got one here. There's one here. I'm just gonna help this little guy hopefully get on that trellis. Some volunteer rattlesnake plants from last fall. Another yard, um, Armenian yard long cucumber, and another Armenian yard long cucumber. And then here I have a Mongolian giant sunflower. I just planted some zinnias here that were sprouted. Little babies for now. They grow so quick. All along the side here. I planted my watermelons. Oh, I did put this here, some milkweed in the center for the butterflies. And um, here's some open zinnias. Here's that mazurkia zinnia and a polar bear zinnia. And next to the polar bear zinnia here, I have a volunteer. It's a, I think it's a ragged jack kale. I love the purple um, on the leaves, very pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've got going on with my watermelons now. Um, these vines are still all the same, um, different varieties, but they're just still growing out. Nothing new with them. Uh, Clay County yellow watermelons. I've got an orange sweet glow. I shared with you that this one wasn't doing so well. Um, and I gave it that fish fertilizer, and look, it has new leaves. So that's good. Hopefully it will be good. Here's the moon and stars watermelon. And this, oh look, I think that's its first blossom. Right there. Yeah, so that's exciting. Hopefully the moon and stars is a 90 day 
watermelon, so it's a earlier variety than the others that I planted here. This is an Alibaba watermelon. Then I have a uh, sugar baby. I have a honeydew melon. This has had flowers on it. And then these are um, Georgia rattlesnake melons. I did have a pollinated one on here, but it got eaten by bugs, which you might have seen in a different video. I need to put another pallet out here because there's one in my house. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to put one here and one out in front of it. But I do have a new pollinated watermelon. I'm excited about right here. So it's just a baby for now, but that's exciting. And then there's one here I'm watching. It's been there for about two days. I'm not sure if it's pollinated yet or not. We'll see if it um, gets big or if it will um, shrivel up. I did take off the seed heads, so um, that's what these brown um, grasses are in the middle. Had lots of seed heads on it, which I took off. Look, there's another female blossom. I wonder if that got pollinated. So tiny. I don't know. We'll see. Here's what they look like when they don't get pollinated. And this will create these beautiful little purple berries that you can harvest and dye, you know, things with fabric, um, cookies, cakes. It'll turn them be this beautiful, vibrant purple. I'm just gonna help that there. Hello, chickies. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you <laughs> is dirt. <laughs> no, but um, I did sew this with sunflowers and zinnias um, and a dwarf zinnia all around the blocks. So we'll see how that does. It'll be better than it growing grass like the, other, the rest of the garden. If that works out well, then maybe I'll put zinnias around my whole garden bed on my other garden blocks. We'll see. And then over here on my chicken coop, I have, um, I planted out these. I put some different squash varieties and sunflowers um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time